How to fulfill orders on CJ Dropshipping, Shopify Dropshipping. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another Shopify tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can fulfill your orders on CJ Dropshipping that you have connected to your Shopify store. Now, first of all, I'm going to explain what CJ Dropshipping is. Then I'm going to show you how you can connect it. After that, I'm going to show you uh, what it does, how you can add the products. And after you're adding the products, I'm going to show you how you can fulfill your orders. Now, to fulfill your orders, what does that mean? What means is basically when you dropship a product on your Shopify store, what's going to happen is you're just going to put it up for sale. Now, for example, let's say someone buys the order and it's sold. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to inform the CJ dropshipping people that yes, the product has been paid for and you have to import it now to this specific address. So yeah, basically that's the basic gist of it. I'm just going to walk you through everything and it's going to be very simple and very easy. Just watch the video throughout to the end and just listen to every single step of mine. And by the end of this video, you will perfectly know how to fulfill your orders on CJ Dropshipping. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to our CJ Dropshipping. Now, once we're on our CJ Dropshipping account, you're going to see this whole interface. Again, if you're not familiar with CJ Dropshipping, I have a video of that on my channel where I have... Uh, discussed in detail how you're going to connect this to your Shopify account and I've also told how uh, you can connect your products with the Shopify account like how you can list the CJ dropshipping products on your Shopify account so uh, yeah without further ado uh, first of all uh, you're obviously going to sign in with your account I'm signed in right now uh, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go on a new tab and open your Shopify account so I'm just going to go ahead and open my Shopify store and I'm just going to go on login and I'm going to log in to my Shopify store that I have done CJ dropshipping on. Just going to wait for that to load up. Okay, so once it loads up now, what we're going to want to do is first of all, I'm going to go in products. Now, when I go in products here, you can see that I have an active product that I have uh, imported from my CJ dropshipping store. I'm going to show you that as well. Wait, if we go on my CJ and once we go on my CJ, it's going to load up. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to go on orders. And once you go on orders, you're going to go either on imported orders or order fulfillments. And over here, you're going to see the orders that you have placed on your Shopify page. So for now, we're just going to go on products. And first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to see the connection is right between your products on Shopify and your products on CJ Dropshipping. So as you can see, the Moonlight product over here, 3D LED Moonlight. If we go over here, here you can see the same as well, 3D LED Moonlight. And it's active and we can see that it's perfectly connected with our Shopify. So uh, once we've confirmed that it's connected, what we're going to want to do is uh, we're just going to go on orders. Now, obviously, right now, no one has ordered the product I have put up. But when someone orders your product, you're going to go in orders on Shopify and you're going to see that your product has been sold and you're going to want to obviously sell it. So for that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go back to your CZ dropshipping. You're going to go on orders and you're going to click on orders fulfillment or undelivered orders. Now, that depends on what type of product you've put up for placement. It could either be an undelivered orders or order fulfillment. And you're just going to go on one of those. And once you're here, what's going to happen is you're going to see if your Shopify store is connected. You're going to see your unfulfilled order over here. And from there, what's going to happen is you're just going to click on your order. And from there on out, it's going to show you a prompt on the bottom right where it says submit. Now in submit, what's going to happen is you're going to submit your product that was just ordered by someone else. And then it's going to take you to a payment place where you're going to have to pay. Obviously, there are many ways to pay. You can either pay through bank transfer or uh, you can use your credit debit card, your PayPal or even your Pioneer account. Now you can use any one of those methods. And once you've paid for it, what's going to happen 
is that the the company or the warehouse of in this case uh, CJ Dropshipping is going to ship that to whatever the address of the import is of the person who just ordered it from you so you're just going to do that and yeah basically that's how easy it is to use CJ Dropshipping to fulfill your orders now obviously this was fulfilling our orders uh, if you don't know how to place an order i'm just going to get into that right away uh, for that, it's very easy. Obviously, you're going to have to fully set up your account. Once you've done that, you're going to come down here and you're going to see the fastest delivery time which shipping method provides us with. So as we can see, DHL official is the fastest delivery time, which is three to seven days, which is honestly a great advantage and a bargain because most stores like Amazon or AliExpress, they take around 30 to 50 days, which is like a lot in my opinion. Okay, so once you've seen the store you want, then you're going to want to see the product you want to list on your Shopify store. Now, uh, you can go with any product you want. Let's go with this AirTag. I want to list this AirTag on my Shopify store. So for that, what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to go on Connect. I'm going to hover on the product as I just did. And it's going to say Connect, List, or Add to Queue. First of all, we're going to go to Connect. It's going to take us to My CJ. Now, once we're on My CJ, what we're going to want to do is we're going to either put in the SKU or product name if we have it, but obviously we have it shown over here, so we don't really need to put that in. Then we're going to go on select store. Now, if your Shopify store is authorized and properly connected to your CJ dropshipping, then uh, what's going to happen is uh, your Shopify store is going to be shown here. If you don't have it connected, just go and check out my video and I have explained properly how you can connect it. Well, further on, uh, when it's connected, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your store and then you're just going to click on sync. Once you click on sync, what's going to happen is it's going to sync the information from your CJ dropshipping store to your Shopify store and we're just going to wait for it to sync through. Now, once it's properly synced, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go back to the main page. And once we're back on the main page, this was the product. Now is the main step, which is we're going to want to click on list. Now, once we click on list, it's going to load us up to the main product list page. And it's going to give us the different list of products that come with the product that we want to choose. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to obviously choose the ship from warehouse which is going to be the Chinese warehouse of CJ Dropshipping. And then you're going to select the store that it's going to ship it to, which is our Shopify store. And once we do that, we're going to select the product type. Uh, you can just add anything you want. You're going to select the collection and you're just going to select any vendor. I'm just putting in random information. You need to put in proper information. Now, once you've done that, you're just going to come here and you're going to select all products or whatever product you want to list on your Shopify store, then what you're going to want to do, you're going to put in any type of price that you want in your fiat currency, obviously. So I'm just going to start putting in the price I want in my fiat currency. And there we go. Just going to put all of this in. And we're just going to put it here. Just three more. Now, once I put it in for all of these, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to change my shipping method to whatever I think is best. So obviously DHL official delivers the fastest as I just checked, which is four to 12 delivery days, which is amazing. And the shipping cost is just $26 and the tracking information is available that I'm going to put where I'm going to ship my order to wherever the import store is. I'm going to put that in. And uh, when I put that in, then I'm just going to click on list it now. And once we click on list it now, it's going to start a listing. It's going to take some time to load up. So once it loads up and it gives us the all good to go, then I'm going to take you to my Shopify store. And over there, I'm going to show you how you can see if your products are listed. So let's just wait for this to load up. Okay, so as you can see, it has listed successfully and our product has fully loaded up. Then we're just going to go to our Shopify store. And over here, we're just going to go and click on products. Now, once we click on products, there you can see there's the 3D LED moonlight that I put up and here's the AirTag wallet that I put up. If we click on it, we can go ahead and see the overview for it, the product information. We can see the description, the different pictures it gives us. And over here, we can see the tags. And look at that. Over here, we can see the fiat currency price we just put in. 
over here we can see the fiat currency price we just put in and different products we just put in and after that what you're going to want to do is you're just going to save it and put it up to your page or store or wherever you like you can even click on preview on online store and you can see the preview of how it's going to look so yeah that's basically about it and that's how you work and fulfill your orders from C to drop shipping to your Shopify. So yeah, that's basically how simple, easy, and efficient it was. If you found this tutorial helpful, please drop a like on the video. And if you have any queries related to this video, please let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to see more Shopify related tutorials, please let me know that as well. And I'm going to make it as quick as I can. And yeah, till then, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Leave a nice comment if you like the video and share this around with people who want to just get into e-commerce or Shopify stores. But yeah, till then, uh, I hope you all have a great day. That's all from me. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.